guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck, and I'm going to do my Manuscript Monday for February 26, 2018. So, um, I actually got a lot done um, in the last two weeks. As I said, I only do this every two weeks because right now I'm not doing enough to justify every week. So, um, I did, but I wanted to, I'm kind of excited that I got a lot done in these last two weeks. So, that's always good. So, first off, um, at the end of last week, I finished my uh, novel that I wrote in November or started in November for NaNoWriMo or National Novel Writing Month. So that draft is done. Now it is not perfect and it is probably something I am never going to look at again. <laughs> I might use those characters in other stories because I did build a few characters that I'm interested in their stories and what um, like now I have a backstory for them like because of this adventure. But it was a really pathetic one. I didn't plan it out. It didn't go any way the way I wanted it to. Like, it was really a nano novel in the way that I let it just flow out of me and I didn't plan a lot. I just, I had a really small idea and I just let it roll. And I had a couple characters that I knew about and then it just kind of let it happen. And it didn't go any way I wanted it to go or planned to do it in the beginning. And so I always pretty much wanted it to just be done. So the novel is just, it's either just under 58,000 words. So it's not a real novel to me. It's its pretty much to me a short story. But the point is, is it's done. I have put the end. I have uh, put it away. I am done. I don't need to look at it again. I might look at it again, you know, in maybe in years, I don't know, but it's going to be a while before I even touch it. It really was, I just wanted to be able to put the end because I was so near the end after November. Um, cause again, I got over the 50,000 in November and then I didn't touch it again until January. And then even then it was kind of hard for me to get back into it. So, um, I did get that done so I can say that's done and I do not have a current project at this time. So after I finished the novel, I was going, I did my second thing that I really wanted to get done this year. And that is I edited, um, the novel I wrote last year, which was a contemporary romance kind of thing very light on the romance. I mean, it was, it was a contemporary story anyway. But the point is, is that I finished um, that last March and then I let it sit. I'd read it, I'd done some editing on it, um, I think in the fall. And then um, I re realized I had totally messed up the timeline. Um, and again, being a planner scheduler, my brain could not handle the fact I was off a week or off a couple of weeks. It, it was like, you know how you write it down? Like, oh, it's supposed, we were gonna have this week off but it was supposed to be two weeks. And it was like, every time I screwed that up, like in the beginning, by the time I realized I'd done it, then I'd already edited three quarters of the of the book. So I knew I had to go back and reread it to change it to the two weeks instead of the one week to make it work. So the timeline all matched up. So um, this last week and a half, that's what I did. After I finished the um, other novel, I actually started editing um, this other one. So this one now is done. I'm to the point now where it's going to be, I'm going to print it and let my, my aunt wants to read it. Don't as anyway, long story. My great aunt will read anything. I let her read. I don't let her read everything, of course, but she's just cute about it. So when I finish a book and I've told her I finished something cause she asks me, I will give it to her and say, well, here you can read it. I'm not going to do anything with it. So <laughs> Again, I don't have that confidence yet for any of my stuff. I don't feel like I'm that great of a writer to um, to publish yet. And even though I've been writing for years, but I have taken a couple of years off of really writing a lot. So I also feel like I've lost some traction. So I need to get back into it. So this is more to finish off again, open projects. And I want to start, um, you know, moving forward, but with stuff, something I'm into right now. So this was a lot last of uh, the last novel that I had completed before my nano novel so that um, I finished it and now it's done and I don't have to think about it anymore after I print it off for her to look at. Anyway, so I finished my first two goals of the year, which was pretty awesome. That's kind of, I'm pretty enthusiastic that I got it done, you know, by the end of February, because that was my goal. I mean, I really would have liked to have been done with both of those by the end of January, but early in January, I kind of knew that wasn't going to happen. So at least I got it done by February. So that means I have pretty much an open calendar for my writing in March because April is Camp NaNoWriMo. So I will probably try to write a certain amount in April um, when that comes. I just don't have a project yet. So here we are. We're at the end of February. March is just around the corner. What am I going to write? So I'm not sure yet. Um, that's kind of the short answer to that. Um, I think 
I just need to get back to where I come into my office and I write for 15 to 20 minutes, just at least try for a little while. And even if it's just, I just write a scene, I write a conversation, I write a description, just as long as I'm writing. And I wanna to try to do that again every night I come home from work. So it's gonna be kind of hard, because again, I'm still doing a lot of overtime right now. Um, but I still think that's uh, a way to build that um, habit. And I wanna get back into the habit. I used to write all the time. Now I didn't write every day. I never have been able to do that. It just, it doesn't work for me um, that way. But I was one of those people who used to write at least two or three times a week during the week. And then the weekends I spent hours writing, like every Saturday and Sunday morning was pretty much writing. And um, I just haven't done that in months. Well, not, except during NaNoWriMo. And um, I just feel like I want to get back to where I want to go and write. And I, um, now finishing the novel from November, that was hard because again, I didn't care for the story as much as I wanted to. Uh, editing this last novel reminded me of how much fun I have when I'm writing something I enjoy. Now, again, that was a fluff novel. It's nothing, well, fluff to me. So it's like, you know, again, it was nothing supernatural, nothing super hard. It was mostly relationship stuff and, you know, things people deal with day to day or maybe not day to day because of the, anyway, never mind. <laughs> anyway, but it wasn't, it wasn't like I was uh, stretching any muscles. It was more just fun. So um, I think for right now, I'm just gonna stick to the fun aspect of writing and I'm just gonna let myself write whatever. I don't know if by April I will have a novel idea to write for Na for the Camp NaNoWriMo. I usually try to um, write 15 to 20,000 in a month when I do the Camp NaNoWriMo's. I'm not sure how much this year I'm going to put myself down for. We'll see how I feel by the end of March. But at this point, that's kind of where I'm looking at. Um, sorry, my cat is about to jump on the ottoman where my camera is. Anyway, um, I think that's it. So, um, so going forward in this next two weeks, I'm hoping to start writing just anything that comes to mind. As long as I write, as I said, if I can just write 15 to 20 minutes a day and just be able to say I did that, even if it's only, you know, three, five, three to 500 words, Hey, I, that's a, that's, I'm moving forward. So I think that's it for now. Um, I, uh, I don't want to plan too far ahead. Cause again, I don't have a novel idea right now in mind. I don't have a genre. I don't have anything. I'm really just going to write whatever comes to mind for a while. And then maybe one of those will spark a story. Um, cause right now I don't, I don't have anything calling to me because again, I'm kind of out of the habit. And I've now closed up all the open ones that I had. So I'm open to do something. I'm just not sure what that's going to be. So anyway, that is my update. And um, how are your guys' writing going? How's your projects? As I said, I finally finished some of mine. So I'm feeling pretty good uh, going into the next month. Um, so we'll see what happens. So I will check back with you in two weeks. Bye.